Hello and Namaste. On behalf of Turbine Testing Lab of Kathmandu University and the organizing committee of the event Current Research in Hydropower Technologies, I would like to welcome you all in this web conference CRST 10 2020. It is a proud moment for us to be hosting this conference in the online platform despite the COVID-19 pandemic. Dear viewers, my name is Sailesh Chitrakar and I am a coordinator of this event, currently working as a lecturer in the Department of Mechanical Engineering of Kathmandu University and also coordinating and supervising several projects at Turbine Testing Lab. The event is organized by Turbine Testing Lab and is supported by Norwegian University of Science and Technology. Turbine Testing Lab was established in 2011 inside the premises of Kathmandu University. Currently, the lab serves as one of the wings under the Department of Mechanical Engineering. The closed loop in the lab runs with two pumps, which can deliver a maximum head of 150 meters and a maximum flow of 500 liters per second. We also have an upper reservoir of capacity 100,000 liters, which can deliver an additional natural head of 30 meters. The maximum testing capacity of the lab is 300 kilowatts for all kinds of the turbines. The activities that we do can be broadly divided into four dimensions. I will talk about each of these dimensions in the next four slides. The first objective of the lab is to conduct various kinds of testing of the turbines. We've been currently working on building an IC standard Francis turbine test rig so that these turbines can be certified based on their performances achieved in the laboratory conditions. The ultimate aim of these activities is to encourage the local manufacturers for the production of these turbines with local capacity. Research and innovation is something that we have been continuously giving emphasis on. Uh, we strongly believe that the quality of a university is governed by the quality of the research that we do. Most of the presentations that will be given in CRST 10 will cover some of the important aspects of the research works that we have been conducting. And Nepal is the country which relies on hydropower more than anything else, uh, but we have to also keep in mind about the sedimentation problems, which is one of the unique problems in the Indian subcontinent. The research works that we are doing are mostly focused on minimizing the effects of sediments in the hydro turbines, uh, whether it is in the form of uh, materials that the turbines are made up of, uh, coatings, or even the design philosophies of the turbines. From last year, we have also started providing consulting services to the hydropower industries, not only in the field of turbines, but also in the field of hydromechanical components of the hydropower. The whole idea is to narrow down the bridge that exists between industrial professionals and academicians. Lastly, academic services like workshops, trainings, handling academic projects, lectures and lab works for the students are something that we do every year since we are all together inside the umbrella of an academic institution. List of publications is one of the key indicators of success and we are very proud to share that there have been 12 journal publications in the year 2019-20. In total, there are more than 100 publications associated with TTL from the beginning of its establishment. So then, I would like to welcome you all once again in CRST. It is amazing how this event is turning out to be a yearly conference uh, with more and more number of people showing their interest every year to participate as well as present in this international platform. Since 2018, the selected papers from the event are provisioned to be published in Journal of Physics as a conference proceeding. Apart from that, since 2019, the theme of CRST has been extended from current research in hydraulic turbines to current research in hydropower technologies which we believe has grabbed the interest of broader engineering community.
This is the list of publications for technical session. I hope that you'll find the presentations fruitful and interesting. In this YouTube channel of CRST, we have uploaded keynote and technical presentations. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can write to us um, or directly add comments under the respective videos and we shall try to link that to the authors. So with that, I would like to end my presentation here. Thank you very much.